Huh, what is lo-fi? Let me type this in Google. Ah, here we go. Lo-fi is a beat that contains origins and influences from bebop, New York underground, instrumentals, 1960s and 1970s, gotta be a typo. Jazz sample and electronic music. The name means low fidelity, which references the sounds of vinyl crackle and sample distortion to provoke nostalgia or a distant sample or melody from a song with a similar sound. It is composed of a beat and loop and some of the common samples include piano melodies that are relaxing and invoke positive emotions. Cool. So I actually never made a lo-fi beat myself, but I definitely listen to my fair share of lo-fi beats when I'm either studying or meditating. So we're gonna make one and learn together. So here's a sneak peek of how it actually turned out. What's up people, it's your host Stevie Thompson aka Master Steve and today we're gonna make a lo-fi beat. So as you saw earlier, lo-fi consists of a beat and a sample and that sample usually consists of piano melodies. Now I would say that I'm pretty good at the piano so I guess I will create my own melody. To avoid sampling and copyright issues, but I will still use some of the same elements. So hopefully by the end of this video y'all would know how to make a lo-fi beat and follow along. So let's go ahead and get into it. Lemon heads is recovered. Oh, that's so good. Mm, so bad for your teeth, but so good. Okay, so the first thing I did, I set the tempo up to 110, make it a little bit slow. Uh, I know a lot of like lo-fi beats can range anywhere between the 85 range all the way to 130. So in my case, I'm doing 110 because it's slow enough for me. Then I added a piano. Now, if you don't have Atmosphere, which is what I'm using, you can use the Logic or GarageBand preset uh, stock sounds. One of my favorite sounds that I use personally is the Steinway Grand Piano. In this case, we don't upgrade it, so we're going to use Atmosphere. In Atmosphere, I'm using the LA Custom C7 Studio keyboard. I added a little bit more reverb to make it a little bit more spacious. I increased the time on that reverb. added more outside reverb as well. I added a silver verb, a little bit sizing, but also 14% uh, wet to make it sound very, very, very moody. We got our piano loop. So next up, we're gonna add the bass line. We have two bass lines here. The first one is more simple. It kind of it kind of just rides with the piano. And the second bass line actually gives uh, it a little bit more rhythm. Now the bass that I use is also Atmosphere. This one is called a Clean Fender uh, Mute Gliss Up. Then for the other bass, I use the same Fender bass, but just a full range sound. Next up, I added some electric piano. I feel like the electric piano pretty much gives it some more smooth feel. But something that I did that I usually do add to some of my sounds is I add a pedal board, a guitar pedal board. And I added a flange factory to it to make it sound a little bit more in the background as well, to give it that more lo-fi sample feel. Really? So next up, I pretty much took that same electric piano I added some more civil verb to it, like a lot, a lot, a lot of like 98% uh, <laughs> civil verb on this thing to make it sound very, very, very roomy. So this is basically the lead for the song. It gives a little bit more feel as well.
Now from here I got into the drums. So the drum pass that I used for this entire beat, um, it is free. I used the asparagus drum kit all the way throughout. Uh, I will include the link right, boom, boom, right below in the description. Like when it comes to lo-fi itself, it's definitely bebop. So I wasn't really focused on having something that's so on the on the timing, but something that's like a little bit more vibey, a little bit more dot, got, got, dot. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. So for the kick, here's the pattern I have. I combined that low kick with another kick. Next up, I added the hi hats. I did a couple of things to the hi hat. I uh, pretty much gave it a high cut with a lot of frequency to to make it sound a little bit more in the background. Uh, I gave it a silver verb, about fifty percent up to sound more roomy. But then I also gave it a P shift. I shifted down so it could sound a little bit more uh, distorted um, and sample like. Messed up on the drum sample list, I used the percussion snare. To the percussion snare, I had a silver EQ as well. I put the same amount of pretty much editing that I used for the hi-hats. I just basically repeated it for the snare and it kind of gave me this accidental sound that I loved. So that's pretty much the loop for the drums. Pretty simple. But it's lo-fi, you know, it, it's supposed to give you a vibe. So all together as is, here's how it sounds with the drums in the actual instrumentation. So that's pretty much the beat. Some more things that I added to give it more nostalgia and to give it more good feeling and, and sound more peaceful, I pretty much added some bird sharpening. So I added some bird sharpening to the left and to the right, and it just gives it like a nice, you know, nature feel to it. What I did next up after the bird chirping, I actually added some vinyl effects to give it that extra feel. So I did that. And then I also added to the master of the song, I added a couple of things. I added a vinyl effect to give it that more crackle noise sound. I also added uh, a console EQ to give it a more vintage sound. And then from there, I added a little bit of high cut EQ with very, very high frequency. Not a lot, but something that you can just hear pretty much just a little bit. And that is the beat. So all together, here's how it sounds.
Okay, y'all, thank y'all for watching this video. If y'all liked it, if y'all think I did good on my first lo fi beat, definitely, you know what I'm saying? Comment below, let me know what you think. Definitely hit that like button and subscribe. We just hit 100 subscribers. That's crazy. Messed up a thousand. So I appreciate y'all for supporting. Uh, to y'all 100, I mean, y'all, y'all part of the Stevie TV fam. Y'all, I love y'all. Y'all, y'all cool. Y'all cool with me, you know what I'm saying? And now, if you're not subscribed, y'all still cool because y'all still came to this video. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I include it right here. Boom, subscribe. I include the asparagus link right below in the description so y'all can go ahead and download that for free. And if you already subscribed, go ahead and hit that notification bar, you know what I'm saying? So you can know when I actually release my videos. And if you want to learn how to make another type of beat, definitely comment that below as well. And I can make another video. All right, Stevie TV out. What's up, YouTube? We back. So I sampled one of my favorite gospel songs, Yes, I'm a Believer by Timothy Wright, and this is what happened. <laughs> 